Hello, welcome to Julianne Artistry. I'm Julianne, or Jay, whichever you feel like calling me. And today I'm, I really felt like doing something charcoal-y. So we're gonna have a look at this image. That's an image a friend sent me because I wanted something moody. So we're gonna have a look at doing that in charcoal. But I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going, I feel like painting with charcoal, like just plain old charcoal, almost like an ink drawing. So I don't know how it's going to turn out because I've never done it before, but I just fancy trying. I'm not using any fancy tools. I'm just, just going to use plain old basic. I mean, this, this is going to be at least, I don't know, maybe 20 years old. Doesn't matter. <sighs> Most of my stuff's about 20 years old or 30 or 40, maybe more because I've had things a long time. Anyway, I'm going to use plain old basic charcoal i've got charcoal stick it's just how i'm used to using it and then i've got these which are again ancient and light medium and dark i'm pretty sure that dare won't still do the charcoal pencils maybe not in this form um and then i've got this one which is from dale Rowney, and it's an artist sketching charcoal so basic as basic as they get, I've got some tortillons and then I've just got three basic paintbrushes and it's a 7, 11 round and then a 10 flat. Nothing fancy about any of it, it's just all cheap art materials and I'm just going to try and do a charcoal painting because I'm feeling a bit charcoal-y. Do you ever get that where you just feel like a certain medium? I do. I get these ideas like, oh, I just feel like doing some inks. Oh, I just feel like doing some water or all of the above. Now, normally when I get charcoal in stick form, I would always buy a box that was mixed sizes. Unfortunately, this is just medium size. So that's just what we're going to work with. I wasn't going to order anything in special, just when all the basic stuff will do. And I'm just going to draw that and see how we go. So I will pop up on the screen the image so you can watch along with me draw. I'm gonna do it dead loose. Now this is an edi edited picture somebody sent me so I just edited it for more mood if you like. So let us see. I've got charcoal everywhere again. So I'm just oh I didn't show you what I was using. I'm just using a watercolour Dale Rowney watercolour aquarelle. Nothing fancy there either. So now that goes straight across. And I've not left enough room for the top. So should we go with it? The spire is going to have to be shrunked. I do work big. And then, oh, it's got. not worried about accuracy or anything like that. I mean I'm almost doing it like you do urban sketching. That's sort of my style anyway. I'm not doing anything accurate. marks down
And I like the fact that with charcoal, like using it like this, it forces you to sort of be looser. building there which I'm not gonna really bother with. Just block it out. Now let's leave it there for that one and have a look at this. We'll just fill in some of the details. Yeah for me this it's like, um, it's like pen, it is a pencil obviously, but it's like, it tightens me up and I don't really like that, I like media that allows me to be loose, so I'm still trying to work loose, I am looking, even though it doesn't look like I'm looking. I hope I'm not mumbling. I'm trying not to mumble. And here's my little girls, my little tribe. Wanting attention. And I'm gonna go over that. Now, she is fine. It's called a reverse sneeze. Chihuahuas do it. Other small dogs do it. Now I can't actually see what that is, so I'm guessing. What's the matter, JJ? I'm gonna have to stop this and see to my girl if she wants attention. This is a gorgeous judge. Oh, Kirk, I think they're cold. I'm just trying now to create some shades where the dark areas are. I'm just playing really. Just moving pigment around and seeing what happens. Make something decent of it. I love how that makes a nice line. Just remind me of what I can work. I mean, I suppose it is because that's all ink is pigment and a plasma dye things. It's what ink started out for us anyway. It's just pigment and water.
Oh, we should have to chop that off. Pushing the pigment around, it's really calm. I quite like doing this. So you can add definition.
wonder what happens if I smudge it first and then ink. It still works. That's good. I've got different types of marks. I like experimenting. Like I said, I've done this before. Oh, that's quite good. And then smudging it wet, I can add like textures. Because it's taking the pigment from other places. I mean that wrecks the paper, I can feel it wrecking it. But I quite like it. Blend it first. The tortilla, or whatever it's called. Or the tortilla, whatever it's called. It disperses the pigment around for you, so you can get like a like a wash, a nice wash. See, so look at the difference between that. We have not blended it. I have blended it. That looks like a dark mess. But well, it was fun. Oh, it's gonna let that dry. And I'm gonna put some ink on it. <laughs> I put some white goo wash on for the highlights. Oh, it's gonna end up with a mixed media piece. We know it. We know it. Carry on playing with the ink. Okay, the pigment. Paper scrubs off. Or well, this paper scrubs off, shall I say. I like how you can just carry the pigment around everywhere. That's fun. Right, so I'm going to let that dry. Okay, it's dry now. I've decided to put some ink on it. And I've got one of my bamboo pen, stick pens. So I'm going to try some ink and see what happens. 
see what happens. Add the ink I'm going to use fountain pen ink and it's called Sea Kelp and it is from Troublemaker ink. So I'm going to try this, see what happens. I didn't start off as being an ink, it's meant to be only a charcoal and wash, but I think it needs something else. This is what happens for me. As an ink drawing, everything always ends up as an ink drawing. I like to only think. I forgot to say, 
I apologise for the auto focus on the camera being noisy because I can't film without the auto focus because otherwise I am really restricted to a fixed focus. I thought rather than filming something that is completely out of focus, which I have done. Keeping relatively still, it's not too bad. I think I was over it quite well, which was, I thought it might not do. Turning the pen on its side
compression tiles but then there's something going on there it doesn't need because of the nature of this ink it will give it a mottled effect something? Yes. Will I try it again? Probably. let it dry and then come back and show you again see what the ink does hello it's the next day and it's totally dry so I'm just gonna zoom in for you so you can see it better it's not a sheening ink it's shading ink but look at the different colors it brings out I love that ink so that's the finished piece so I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did could you give a like please and a subscribe if you want to come back and you want to see any more bye